Well, it was a really fun regional semifinal round coming to a close tonight. Two great matchups in the Alamo Dome with two teams looking to punch their ticket into the state quarterfinals. Piper and Alamo Heights was an absolute instant classic. It ended just moments ago. Let's check it out right here. First quarter, Colin Ernst with an easy little toss. Anderson Boggess. That gave Alamo Heights the lead. Later, Warrior quarterback Jake South Ball gets tipped at the line. And then Jake Stakin wrestles that away for the touchdown. A little bit later, Piper down nine now. Jake South, gorgeous ball to a wide open Isaiah Champagne. He's playing with a cast on his hand, still catching that. That's a touchdown, too. Now, Piper up one late in the third. It's junior John Hamilton takes the counter into the end zone. Piper up eight points now. This is the ensuing kickoff. It's Parks Zunker. He takes this one all the way into the end zone. They get the two-point conversion, so the game is tied once again in the fourth quarter. Next Piper possession, it's Jake South to John Hamilton. Tell me if you've heard that before. Hamilton's fourth touchdown of the game gives Piper the lead. They never give it back. The Warriors were 2-8 and eight last season in their first year of varsity play. Now they're heading to the regional finals. Wow, just unbelievable. Dripping Springs taking on the John Jay Mustangs today a little bit earlier today in the Alamo Dome. Tigers barely escaped last week against Judson. Today they came out sluggish as well. Their first possession, quarterback Jack Williams trying to make something happen. He gets picked off by Dylan Gordon. Now it's at the three-yard line. That, get, that interception took him all the way down to the three. Now Jackson Gutierrez puts Jay up 7-0. This time Williams gets it done, though. Kyle Koch for a 47-yard touchdown to tie the game up. Tigers up 14-7 now when Dylan Gordon does his thing on offense this time. 76-yard run does not get into the end zone once again, but Jackson Gutierrez can thank him for that. He gets into the end zone one more time. The Mustangs, they were down seven at half. The Tigers turned it on after the intermission. They end the Mustangs' magical season. Well, the state quarterfinals are set. This is where we are right now. Steele's going to play Dripping Springs. The time and place is going to be actually Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Alamo Dome. Smithson Valley will take on AM Consolidated on Friday at 7 p.m. in Cedar Park. As you just saw, Piper advances. They'll play Liberty Hill, who they beat a few weeks ago because the two of them are in the same district. In the 4A ranks, Davenport will play PL Calhoun on Friday at 7 p.m. in the Dome. In the 3A ranks, Blanco will face Edna at fri on Friday at 7 in Bastrop. And the 3A runners up from last year, the Poth Pirates, they'll play Tidehaven 7 o'clock in Victoria.